Why don't fairy tales ever involve a hero sweating and out of breath? We meet Marcus downstairs and he drives us to Castle Hohenzollern. This is a 45 to 55 degree incline going uphill. Just to be clear, this puts yesterday's 12 kilometer hike to shame. I have no idea how far we actually walked, but the mountain is 2,805 feet above sea level. I can't even imagine the difficulty that some menial laborer carrying stone up the mountain would have without some sort of a paved walkway or even stairs. All that bitching aside, the view is worth it. The castle has been built and completely destroyed twice. Once during the Thirty Years' War and once in the 18th century because it had lost all strategic importance and deteriorated to the point it had to be demolished. This chapel is the only part that still exists from the medieval period. Today it holds the remains of William, Crown Prince of Germany, and Duchess Cecily of Mecklenburg-Schwerin. Elsewhere in the castle is a letter from George Washington thanking Frederick Wilhelm von Steuben for his work in the American Revolutionary War. Baron von Steuben served as Washington's chief of staff in the final years of the war. He was responsible for ending the charming military practices of soldiers relieving themselves wherever they wished and stripping animal carcasses of all meat and then leaving the rest to rot where it lay. He also set up the rule that latrines and kitchens were on opposing sides of the camp with the latrines at a lower elevation so sewage wouldn't seep through the kitchen. The castle also has the crown of Wilhelm II somewhere but we didn't get a chance to see it. On our way to dinner, Marcus points out a large group of students drinking beer on some church steps. Evidently this is common on summer evenings. With dinner I have Das Schwarz Schwabian Brau, which you can probably guess is dark Schwabian beer. While there, Marcus encourages me to try a piece of Kirschstengli from the box I picked up in Metzingen this morning. These candies aren't sold in the US because people are concerned children might try to eat them. They're basically a sugar capsule covered in unsweetened chocolate filled with cherry schnapps. They are delicious, but it's like taking a shot each time you eat one. 